Tamon, so with this new defensive scheme, kind of how does your, your job change at, at Rush In? Uh, I just have a more fluid job. I have a lot more responsibility in, in the pass game, also up front. I play interior a lot too. I'm just very multiple. Is it is it difficult kind of learning the, the nuances there? Uh, not really, because we go over it in depth before before every practice, and then once we come out here in the individual period, we still go over it even more. How much have you guys as a group progressed in learning everything and things kind of clicking more now as opposed to two weeks ago? Yeah, like day by day, you can see improvement in everybody. Everybody's playing faster because they know more. We're not thinking <clears> as much. So I, I just see improvement as, as long as we're going. As far as how the coaches handle having patience with you guys learning this, have they been really patient? Or are they kind of speeding things up because you only have a limited time here in spring and next thing you know, you're playing a game? Yeah, at first they were, they were kind of patient, but now like if you mess up, they're going to let you know because we need to get things right. We need to get everybody to pay attention, stay disciplined, especially if, like, if you mess up on the same thing twice or multiple times. That's when they really try to put their foot down. Max said something last week about accountability throughout the program with the coaches and with you guys. Mm -hmm. How much accountability are they putting on you now, especially as an older guy, with learning this new scheme? Yeah, they, they definitely put a lot of confidence on the, older, on the older guys just because they expect us to be able to learn the defense and then also be able to help the young guys at the same time. But it's just like any other team, the old heads have to help the young, the young guys out. What's the split, do you think, in, in you with your, your hand down and versus not? Man, I try to keep everything about the same, you know? <laughs> uh, of course, like, with my hand down, I feel more explosive, but I also could have my hand up. I feel fast. Is it? What's the split? I mean, it's like 50 50, 60 40. Oh, the split though? I'm like 90 10. Okay. <laughs> I, I barely ever put my hand down now. Okay. Like, only if I think I need it, I'll put my hand down. Maybe like 95, 5%. Do, do you have that flexibility? And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> it's a down and distance situation, though, a lot of times, right? When you put your hand down? Nah, Maybe like. Scenario? Not really. <laughs> goal line or short yardage situation. yeah especially if it's, if it's like goal line of course like heavy personnel i'm gonna put my hand down but even if it's like third and short i'm gonna be in a two point but i'm gonna just be more square what's unique about how coach cross kind of coaches you guys up he has a lot of energy and he makes sure to get every little detail correct and he, uh, he just watches everything he'll notice every little thing like even if you think you had a good rep he'll find something you need to improve on which is, which is good for us What's the biggest difference between today and when you started a month and a half ago, when, six weeks ago? Uh, definitely energy and attention to detail. I mean, at first we came out with energy, but still, we just we didn't really know what to do that much, so we was just kind of just playing. But now like, we really know the defense, so we're, we're getting after it. Crawford said last week that you guys are getting upfield pretty much every every single snap. Oh, yeah. is, is, that, is that a big challenge, I mean, big, a big change from what you were accustomed to? Not, not necessarily, but you know, as a D-line, you want to get vertical. You want to get apply pressure on the quarterback, on the run. You don't want to be able to uh, disrupt as many things you can with that. 